what is up. I have a new little project that we're going to be doing right here um, with the VFD. Right now, this uh, closed loop pump, this one had a VFD added to it a while back. Got that nice front co echo there, I like those. It's like what I added to that other pump. This one here is a 60 horsepower. So it's a little bigger VFD than the other one. And originally this didn't have a VFD. They had really crappy control of the loop. And what they are doing is they would just close down the supply <laughs> to keep the, the, the let's say, you know, flow, the gallons per minute were just insane going through the building. <laughs> it was noisy. So they'd have to choke it out here pretty much deadheading the pump a 60 horse pump you know that probably wasn't good so one day somebody they had somebody come out and install this vfd here so this pump is on the vfd this pump over here is not it's still just uh tied to the disconnect directly and then ran through the starter panel so it's a backup but if it's ever used because <laughs> something happens to this system you got to uh fire it up you got to choke down a supply like that that's just insane so uh, I want to do some I want to change out the bearings in this pump maybe the seal over there and uh, I don't have a way of going to the backup pump I don't want to run it deadheaded like that the other thing you know I could do is unhook the power and, and tie it into the VFD instead which would work for backup it wouldn't take too long, but that's what I have to do is actually pull those heavy gauge wires out of the VFD. And then I would get that other one fired up running on the VFD, running on pressure feedback. But I want to make it so this is, could be switched for maintenance, things like that. Plus, this one's had hours and hours of runtime, and now this one hasn't. So. I'm going to do a similar thing as I did the other pumps where I'm going to have a contactors or whatever to select one of two pumps with using just the one VFD. I'm not going to go extravagant with the home-built micro uh, controller based you know, circuitry or anything like that. I'm just going to do it with a switch because this one's simple and not that many people are going to come out here and mess with this. It's going to have just some instructions. So recycling some control switches that I already have here from that other panel. I'm gonna, I'm drilling holes, I'm gonna put those in. I'm gonna wire it up, so. Yeah, I just wanna get a little shot of the before action right there. A little heavier wire. wired up now power coming into the VFD power going out used to go right to the motor there but now it's going to the center position of that transfer switch so one goes over to that motor right out the side there and then the other output is going to that motor so right now if I turn it on it should basically fire up a will be pump one. Okay. And off in the middle position stops the VFD. I have not fired this one up in a while. I'm not even sure if the polarity is going to be correct. Went off the colors, but this is how I'm going to switch it. Now, uh, position is now set for B. Go back to run. Should fire that one up now. There she goes. And sounds like. 
because the polarity is backwards. So it's going really fast. Yep. So yeah, pump don't work too well when the polarity, you know, three phases. All right, so I just got to switch a couple of the wires right there and relabel them. That's what happens when you work with three phase. So I'll switch that and then should be ready to go. Take two. Let the BFD fire up. Let's see if we make some pressure now. There we go. Amazing how a pump works if it's rotating the proper direction. Up online. So now I am able to switch between the two pumps. That ain't too bad. I kind of hate having those high voltage wires right there, but that's the way it's made. It doesn't have a cover. I mean, there's 480 right there, too. All this cover is closed. That's all you can see. I gotta put use a label maker. Label those positions. This is just for that pump, and this one means that pump. Depending on rotation. Sweet. <laughs> we haven't ran that pump in, in years. I mean I fired it up just briefly, but that has not been used for a while. Hey, I believe I am done. This actually went a little easier than I expected. <laughs> um, as I said, a lot of these parts here are still recycled from uh, that old booster pump controller, that Mammoth Erector set I removed from that other BFD project. Uh, still have the old panel. Still more of these switches and those lights in it. So I cut the holes and put those in there. The overview so installed real nicely there added this recycled all that wire too hooked on the connectors got the AV transfer switch here so do the little switch that's in there is feed back to the lights just so you know what position that's in for pump one or pump two and then the selector switch uh, basically is a dual pole dual throw When, uh, when you turn it to run, I'm using the closed nose contacts to command, pulling that relay that gives the start command to the view. And then the other uh, normally open contact separate circuit is going momentarily, puts 120 volts to uh, that transfer switch. Interesting thing is this transfer switch says that the coil rating is 208, 240. That's how it was set up. But I uh, took it apart. It doesn't give ins any instructions to do so, but I could tell by the way the uh, windings were tapped. They were in series, so I just paralleled them, re re uh, attached the windings, kind of reconfigured them, as to say. And uh, it, the 120 volts is now energizing the coil. So that is good. And you only energize it just momentarily. 120 volts comes from this transformer stepped down from 480 volts. That's all I have fed to this panel. There is no 208 anything in this room. So basically, I'm going to put a little instructions here. To rotate pumps, this is to be so any other maintenance guy that comes here, he can do that. There's a pump failure. Move switch to off and wait five seconds for pump to stop. Momentarily move switch to rotate, then back to off. And then uh, move switch to run. Pump will start after short delay. And I uh, noticed that now this light's on for pump one. Now this pump's going to run. So I'll rotate it back to that. So. Sweet. So, 
should be foolproof. Still nice and neat in here. Just don't put your fingers on that. <laughs> it's in the control panel, so we all should be good. So. All right, well, now the job is done. I would, I am tempted it would be nice to put some automation in there, like I did on the other one. Then all they'd have to do is it have an off position, uh, and then a pump one and a pump two, just like I did in the other one, and then let my microcontroller handle the delays and uh, energizing the transfer switch, but oh well, this was quick, this works. Now I have a nice setup that I can run either pump off the BFD and be able to do service to the other one.